one? Good. Who's ready to read some stories and sing some songs? Yay. Okay, so we're going to, so before we get started, I want to introduce ourselves. I'm Miss Chloe. There's Miss Jasmine, and then there's Miss Sam, and we all will be reading stories and singing songs to you. Okay, so for this opening song, we're going to need our hands. Could everyone show me your hands? We're going to need our ears, and we're going to need our feet. Stop your feet. Yay! Okay, so let's start with this. I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 clap. Clap, clap, clap. I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 and I wiggle the waggles away. Okay, now we're going to move on to our ears. I wake up my ears with a tug, 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 tug. I wake up my ears with a tug, 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 and I wiggle the waggles away. I, oh, I wake up my feet with a stump, 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 stump. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I wake up my feet with the stomp, 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 and I wiggle the waggles away. Does everyone feel awake? Are all the wiggles out? Or should we do it one more time but faster? Let's do it one more time but faster. Okay. I wake up my hands with the clap, 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 clap. clap, clap, clap. I wake up my hands with the clap, 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 and I wiggle the waggles away. I wake up my ears with the tug, 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 tug. Tug, tug, tug. I wake up my ears with the tug, 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 and I wiggle the waggles away. I wake up my feet with the stomp, 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 stomp. I wake up my feet with the stomp, 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 and I wiggle the waggles away. Wonderful job, everyone. You kept up amazingly. And I think we are ready for our first story. And this first story is called Froggy Gets Dressed. What sound does a frog make, everyone? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. ribbit, ribbit. And what do frogs do? They jump, they jump. Okay, so let's read the story about how Froggy gets dressed. It was cold. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. Snow, snow, he sang. I want to play in the snow. Is it snowing right now? No, but it's really cold, isn't it? Go back to sleep, Froggy, said his mother. Don't you know, frogs are supposed to sleep all winter. Wake up when the snow melts. No, no, cried Froggy. I'm awake, awake. I want to go out and play in the snow. So Froggy put on his socks, zoop, put, pulled on his boots, zup, put on his hat, zat, tied on his scarf, zwit, and tugged on his mitten, zum, and flopped outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. But what's wrong with Froggy? He doesn't have a coat. So wouldn't he get really cold in the snow? He's going to freeze. Froggy called his mother. What? yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Oops, cried Froggy. I forgot to put on my pants. So not only did he forget his coat, but he put on, he forgot his pants too. He flopped back inside, flop, 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 tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, took off his hat, pulled on his, pulled off his boots. He left his socks on and slipped on in his pants. Zip. Zip. Then he pulled on his boots, zap, put on his hat, zap, tied on his scarf, zwit, tugged on his mitten, zum, and flopped back outside into the snow. Flop, 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 flop. Froggy called his mother. What? yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Oops, he cried. I forgot to put on my shirt. And your coat, yelled his mother. He flopped back inside, flop, flop, flop. He tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, took off his hat, he left on his pants, boots, and socks, and buttoned up his shirt, zut, zut, zut. Then he snapped on his coat, zap, 
and put on his hat, zapped and tied on his scarf, zwicked, tugged on his mittens, zum, and flopped back outside into the snow. Flop, 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 flop. Froggy! yelled his mother. What? said Froggy. You forgot to, did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. He had on his mittens, he had on his scarf, he had on his coat, he had on his shirt, he had on his pants, he had on his boots, he had on his socks. He reached up. Yep, he had his hat. What do you think he could be missing? Any guesses what Froggy is missing? Any guesses? Well, let's see. Your underwear! Oops, cried Fro Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. He flopped back inside, flop, 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 tugged off his mittens and tied his scarf and snapped his coat, unbuttoned his coat, unbuttoned his shirt, unzipped his pants, pulled off his boots, took off his socks, he left his hat on, and slipped his long johns on with a zap of elastic. <laughs> then he put on one sock, zoop, pulled on one boot, zup, tugged on one mitten, zum, started to tug on the other, then let it drop and said, I'm too tired. And went back to sleep. The end. Good night, Froggy. Did everyone like that story about Froggy? Now we're going to move on to some songs and activities, and it will be Miss Sam's turn. Could everyone say hi, Miss Sam? All right, good morning. What do you think our song is going to be about? Frogs. Frogs. All right, we're going to sing Five Little Speckled Frogs. Maybe you know it. All right. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog, glub, glub. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs, glub, glub. All right, good job. All right, so now we're going to help Froggy get dressed. So Froggy woke up in the morning. He's wearing his PJs. Let's see, what should he put on first? What do you think? Do we put on our jacket first? Yeah. No. Let's see, do we put on our hat first? No. no. Let's put on Froggy's shirt. Where does his shirt go? Can you show me on your legs? Now on your body? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's see what should go next. Hmm. His jacket. Oh, his jacket. We could put his jacket on next. Let's see. Where does his jacket go? Does it go on his head? No. No. Does it go on his feet? No. No. Does it go on his shirt? Yes. Yes. All right, let's see what's next. Hmm. His pants. His pants. Good choice. Where do his pants go? On his legs. Oh, on his legs, or do they go on his ears? No. no. 
they go on his legs. legs. Good job. Let's see. Hmm. What about his mittens? Should we put his mittens on next? Uh, no. No. Let's see. Hmm. His socks. Maybe shoes? No. No. What goes before shoes? Socks. Your socks. And where do they go? On your feet. On your feet. Good job. His right. shoes. He's almost dressed. What should go next? Shoes. His shoes. Let's see. Is this how they go? Is this how they go? Yeah. Do they go on his feet? Yeah. Yes. Good job. All right. What about his scarf? Where does his scarf go? Does it go on his head? No. Does it go on his elbow? No. No. Where does his scarf go? It goes on his neck. Oh, on his neck. Can you show me your neck? Show me your neck. Good job. All right, it's gonna go right there. Let's see. Do you know what this is? A hat. A hat. And where does your hat go? In your head. Does it go on your nose? No. No. It goes where? On your head. On your head. Good job. And our last thing. What else does Froggy need? What are these? Mittens. Mittens. Where do your mittens go? Do they go on your knee? No. No. They go on your hands. Your hands. Good job. All right. Does Froggy look ready to go play in the snow? Yes. Yes, he does. All right. Good job. And thank you for helping me get Froggy dressed. All right, and now we have a story from Miss Jasmine. Hello, everyone. Today we have a special story. This one, this story is in English and Spanish. Ooh, so I'll be reading it to you in both languages. This story is titled "Estamos en Invierno." It's winter. Ha llegado el invierno. It must be winter. Hoy voy a poner mis botas de nieve nuevas. Today I'm going to wear my new snow boots. También me pongo mi abrigo, mi gorro y mis guantes. Hace frío fuera. I wear my coat, hat and gloves too. It's cold outside. Is it cold right now? Yes. It's a little cold. So how do we say cold in Spanish? Frío. Frío. That's frío. Hoy está nevando. Today it's snowing. Mi hermano, mi hermana y yo salimos a jugar en la nieve. My brother, sister and I go out to play in the snow. Wow. Me gusta que cae nieve donde yo vivo. Es divertido jugar en la nieve. I'm glad it snows where I live. Playing in the snow is fun. Does it snow here? No. no. <laughs> but it does get really cold sometimes. On the mountain, yes. Hacemos un, muñeque, un muñeco de nieve. We make a snowman. Usamos palitos para hacer sus brazos. We use sticks for its arms. <gasps> wow. So a snowman in Spanish is called a muñeco de nieve. Wow. And we learned that nieve is snow in Spanish. Mis amigos vienen a ver nuestro magnífico muñeco de nieve. My friends come to look at our cool snowman. And what color is the snowman's hat? Purple. Purple, that's right. And what about the girl's hat? What color is that? Pink. Pink, that's right. And we know what pink is in Spanish? Any guesses? Yes. Rosa. Rosa, yes. Mi mamá y mi papá nos llevan a patinar sobre el hielo en el invierno. My mom and dad take us ice skating in winter. Wow. Mm. 
no es fácil patinar en el hielo. Ice skating isn't easy. A veces resbalo y me caigo en el hielo. Sometimes I slip and fall on the ice. But does she look sad that she fell? She looks happy and like she's having lots and lots of fun. Quedarse en casa en invierno también es divertido. Staying inside in winter can be fun too. Dentro hace calor. It's warm inside. What could be making their house so warm? Fire. What's that? That's Fuego. a fire. Yeah, it's a fireplace. And what's that they're holding? Hot chocolate. It could be hot chocolate. Yeah, maybe that's what's keeping their house so warm and cozy. Yeah, that's right. Hot chocolate in Spanish is chocolate caliente. Me encanta el invierno. Nos divertimos dentro y fuera de casa. I love winter. We have fun inside and outside. And that is the end of this story. I hope you enjoyed it. We learned some cool new words to say in Spanish today, like snowman. Do you remember what snowman was? Muñeco de nieve. That's right, muñeco de nieve. All right. And I have one last song for us today to sing. It is our goodbye song. But first, I have to make sure we're all ready to sing our goodbye song. So let's all sit down. And let's turn on our listening ears. When you're on. Yes, it's awesome. Okay. For this song, we're going to need our hands. Show me your hands. Perfect. And then we're going to need our elbows. Where are your elbows? Right here. And then your nose. Show me where your nose is. Right there. Awesome. Okay. If you really like the stories, clap your hands. If you really like the stories, clap your hands. If you really like the stories, really, really like the stories. If you really like the stories, clap your hands. If you really like the stories, wiggle your elbows. If you really like the story, wiggle your elbows. If you really like the stories, really, really like the stories. If you really like the stories, wiggle your elbows. All right. If you really like the stories, touch your nose. If you really like the stories, touch your nose. If you really like the stories, really, really like the stories. If you really like the stories, touch your nose. All right. If you really like the story, shout hooray! Hooray! If you really like the story, shout hooray! Hooray! If you really like the story, really, really like the stories. If you really like the story, shout hooray! Hooray! Awesome! Thank you for visiting us today, everybody.